13 on your sidelines. Sponsored by Rand Insurance Group, a better path forward. Welcome to week two of 13 on your sidelines brought to you by Rant Insurance Group. I'm Jamal Spencer and I'm Mark Skull Jr. We begin with a battle of the Bulldogs in the 13 on your sidelines game of the week. Now, Granville thumped one of the most highly touted teams in the state in week one while Byron Center won an overtime thriller. These two Kent County neighbors faced off tonight for the first time ever. The Bulldogs of Byron Center traveling to Granville to play the Bulldogs. And it was the Gville Dogs with the huge start. Opening kickoff, Tyson Mann with it, wants to go left, sees a hole right, head down the sideline, one stiff arm, gets some support from his teammates, and he's gone. 79 yard return, two point conversion was good. Granville with an 8 0 start. Later in the first, Byron Center down 16 0. Hunter Schichtel, 34 yard bomb, Ooh. great diving catch by Brady Brett. He makes an absolute beauty of a grab. Yeah, you like that. Still in the first, though, it's Granville again. Andrew Fleming hands it off to Tyson Mann, going through the whole spin move, and he finishes the 50-yard dash. Granville goes up 24 to seven. Then in the second half, more the same, you guessed it. Tyson Mann gets the ball, finds the hole and the end zone. The dogs of Granville, just too much for Byron Center. 45-27 the final. After that first play, and then to start off with that bang, that, I think that really helped the whole team get going, and I think that was a great moment. But I am proud that you know, our defense stepped up when needed to, and the offense kept firing every time. You know, offensive line, you know, smelled it. They, they wanted to keep going, and, and our backs keep grinding. Granville travels to Hudsonville next week. Byron Center will host Forest Hills Central. Rockford and Mona Shores dominated their week one opponents. Tonight, the Rams and Sailors faced each other. It was the 25th meeting between these two powerhouse programs. And what a ball game did we have at Carlson Munger Stadium for some football. Sailors were in control early second series of the game as Mona Shores setting sail in the end zone. You can bank on Brandon Bankard. He's in for the 13 yard touchdown. Mona Shores leads six nothing after the missed extra point in the second quarter. It's the same deal. Demir Farnham doesn't have to go very far here as he punches it in for six from five yards out. Mona Shores up 12 nothing after another missed extra point. Later in the half, Mona Shores has money in the bank. Brandon Bankard again, cash money. He finds the end zone this time from 14 yards. The Mona oh. Shores is up 20 to nothing. But guess what? Rockford comes all the way back. Third and long. Mac Vandenhout fires it to Brady Thompson. He snags it over a sailor and waltzes in for the 30 yard touchdown. Rockford wins in comeback fashion 31 to 27. Whitehall scored a huge win last week, but tonight was another tough one against Hastings. Matt Gard is in the control room with the highlights. Mark, uh, the, the uh, Vikings didn't have much time to celebrate that win over Unity Christian last week because they're facing a Hastings team that's coming off their best season since 1990. Early in the second, Kyle Stratton hits Tran and Ayler for a 46-yard score to give Whitehall the lead. Hey, stick around to see Tran uh, he might win the MVP of the week this week. Second quarter, Hastings back on top. Malkin Irvin changes that 19-yard score here, 21-16 Whitehall. But Lanny Tunison strikes back. He's got something to say about that. 64-yard touchdown run, 24-21 uh, Saxons at that point. And to the third, Kyle Stratton hits Nate Bolly. Their second touchdown connection of the night, Whitehall wins their first ever battle against Hastings, 41 to 30. Thanks, Matt. Last year, Oak Ridge and Muskegon Catholic Central went down to the wire. Tonight, they faced off again. Both teams had impressive wins in week one. Gonna jump right to the fourth quarter. Oak Ridge up 14-7. Crusaders driving, fourth and short. Brian Convertini. Rolls left, looking for a receiver, but Lorenzo Garcia bats the ball away. Eagles take over. Oak Ridge takes advantage. Matt Danasek finds Evan Miller over the middle. 28-yard score and a 13-point lead with five minutes to go. The MCC has a proud tradition and wouldn't go away. Convertini going deep into your living room as David Hill makes the catch for the big game. A three-yard run for 22 caps the drive at 20 to 14. One last chance, though, for the Crusaders. Trying to make something happen late. Onside kick, but Chris Knapp jumps all over that. Oak Ridge hangs on. 20-14, the final. The 